Howdy, howdy, back at it again. Today's video is going to be a general tutorial on how to find Oki setups, kind of how to math it out. So let's get into it. So the very first thing to do is identify what moves you want to MIDI with. So the very first thing to think about is just what are your big combo starters, right? Things that if you hit them with, you get to kind of end their life, go into your max damage, whatever. Next thing to think about, are there any moves that you can force a mix up? Right, so Marisa Drive Rush Crouch Medium Punch lets her tick throw if she's close enough. So you do something like that, and all of a sudden they have to guess whether you're going to do that or go into a low and try to catch them matching buttons, right? So those are the first two things. The third thing is just something that's safe, something that's you know good on hit, like towards heavy kick Gladius, and it's good on block. And maybe it's like safe to DI too, so you do like Oh, they you know, hold it, you know. So that's the idea. Those are the first, those are kind of the primary three things I would look for, right? You want, hey, what's my combo starter? What gives me a mix up if they block it? And it doesn't have to be out of drive rush, right? It can just be anything. And then is there anything that's just brain dead safe? You know, crouch medium kick into fireball for a lot of years. You know, that was like the thing with, you know, Ryu, Ken, Shoto, whatever was okay just low forward fireball low forward fireball does chip pushes him out i get to play my game and that's kind of the idea and then the fourth thing it's not as big of a deal in this game it was more so in street fighter 5 was i'm going to throw out a button and i'm going to single hit confirm it so if it hits you i'm going to cancel it into a special move and convert into a combo and if it you you know if you block it we're just going to let it ride and i'm going to walk back and we're going to play neutral Right, so those are kind of the four things I would look for when trying to pick out meaties. So let's look at a couple examples. So first off, with Marisa, I just want to look at this medium punch slam. Right, so you're like, okay, I'm plus 36. None of the things I want to meaty with, right, are 36 frames. They're all quite a bit faster than that. So is there any way I can get to 36 frames or eat up space in time? So if I forward dash, I'm plus 14. My forward dash is 22 frames, so I'm plus 14. Hey, look, my towards heavy kick, that's 14 frames. So there, boom, easy setup right there. I plus 14, one of the moves I want to meet you with is 14 frames. So I just dash forward and I do it. Perfect. Another example, right? Well, what if I wanted to land charged, you know, heavy punch? Well, that's 26 frames and I'm plus 36. So is there any way I can add, you know, 10, 11 frames to the startup of this? Well, it turns out, yes. Doing drive rush into button adds 11 frames of startup to that move. So if I do immediate drive rush into charge sand heavy punch, instead of it coming out in frame 26, it'll come out on frame 37. And frame 37 is actually their first frame of wake up off of this knockdown, right? So you look at that, you're like, okay. So I can use forward dashes to eat up time or, you know, kill frames. I can use drive rush to kill frames and add frame advantage, which is good. Is there anything I can do off of a knockdown like this, right? Plus 42, and you're like, okay, well. If I just do forward dash into like some of these charged normals. I get counter hit, so that's no good. If I just do, you know, normal towards heavy kick, they're not off the ground yet. So what do we do? Well, there's a couple things we can do. We can sort of combine these so I can do, hey, off a of forward dash here, I should be plus 20, right? Well, do I have anything that's gonna come out around frame 20, right? And yeah, there's a couple things. So drive rush stand medium punch will be active on frame 21 when that's gonna hit, right? So we can get a big combo there. So that might be something we wanna go for because it has a big reward on hit. Remember that was one of the characteristics I talked about was big reward on hit, right? And it's actually pretty good on block too. Uh, block after first attack, excuse me. Right, it's plus six on block, so we can get some frame traps with like back heavy punch and Gladius. Now, that's not necessarily me saying this is what we should do off of this knockdown, because I have other videos for that. This is me saying, okay, we can maybe combine some of these ideas of frame kills, 
right? And using frame advantage in different ways to maybe find setups, okay? And we can do this with other characters too. So easiest character, I think, one of the easiest characters to find Oki for off of her common knockdowns as Kami. So if we did like medium spiral arrow, we're plus 26. All she has to do here is forward dash, right? So let's just talk about what sort of buttons she might want to land. So crouch heavy punch, that's plus seven on hit. That's a combo starter, right? I think it is like that. She does some damage. That's plus six, which I think also makes it a combo starter. And out of drive rush, certainly she can do something like that. Right, into a big combo. So the idea is this. She lands something like this. She has four dash, she's plus eight. She can literally just throw or push a button, right? So principle here works just fine. We look for four dash. Are there buttons we can push that just work as meaties? 100%. Hey, look, one of the things that we think she likes to do as a meaty, it just works. We're done. Okay. Other characters are kind of the same way, right? So a character like Lily is a little tougher. But for example, if we look at like a knockdown, that might be common. We look at like light Condor Spire, right? Wind Condor Spire, light version. We end up at plus 47. Now, unlike Cammy, right? Lily can't do one forward dash and just be in. She can do two, and she's plus five, so she can like throw her command grab from there, and that's not terrible. But Lily really wants to land stuff out of Drive Rush, I think, because if you look at a lot of her normals, they're pretty crap on block, right? Minus one, minus one, that's not terrible out of Drive Rush. That's minus four, that's minus four. So like those will be even out of Drive Rush. That's minus two, so that might, that'll be plus out of drive rush. But you look at the frame advantage on these moves, and you're like, eh, even out of drive rush, these aren't going to be good. They're certainly not good to meet you with just off the dash, right? Where Cammy's crouch heavy punch was plus one. So, like, even if you blocked it, she didn't really care that much, right? She'd still be plus. Wasn't a big deal. A character like Lily kind of needs a little bit more a frame advantage. So... You can, once again, like we talked about with Marisa a little bit, you can combine some of these things. So you can do a forward dash and then do a drive rush. Right, so we're plus 26. Do we have anything that's going to hit around the 20, you know, do we have anything that starts up around 14 frames, 15 frames, that's going to hit? And her back heavy punch. Yeah, that's 14. And we talked about that was actually one of the things that was okay on block because it's minus two, so it's actually gonna be plus in burnout, or excuse me, off of a drive rush, and in burnout, but off of a drive rush is really what I wanna talk about here. So, the idea here is we're gonna maybe frame kill with forward dash, and then do back heavy punch. And you see we're plus four on block now. That gives us a regular throw or a command throw. Ooh, I'm terrible at 360s. Trust, that would work. Or, if they want to mash or something. Whoops. Why am I not getting drive rush? Whoops. I was supposed to be back heavy punch. Oh my goodness. Right, we can get combo conversion. So... The idea is you're just looking for ways to eat up time and create what are called frame kills, right? Where you use a move just for how long it takes to resolve so you can get into a more precisely timed Oki situation. Um, this was really quick. Some people were asking for it, so I'm like, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. Hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if I need to redo this, if it's confusing, or if you need more specific details. I do plan to continue my 
series where I look at basic Oki knockdowns for every character. But at this point, I was like, let's just wait till season two because who knows how the game's gonna change. And, you know, I mean, some of these stuff they're talking about with like wake up drive reversal. I'm like, okay, well, that might change a bunch. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully, this is useful as always. Have a good time.